So this week at math, we're working on ratios, unit rates, and rates. So for this video, we're going to talk about rates and unit rates. So you've already done the lesson, so you should have some background knowledge on the difference between a rate and a unit rate and what the relationship is together. So a rate is the going rate or the going price or the deal that's happening. So at Tim Hortons right now, their bagel bundle, the rate is six bagels for $6. So that's the deal, six bagels for $6. The unit rate is the price for just one bagel or one unit. So a unit is singular, it means one. So if we're doing the rate, we're looking at six for six, but if we want to find the unit rate, we need to look at the price for just one of those bagels. So you already know from the lesson that to find the unit rate for this deal, we need to take $6 and divide it by the six bagels to figure out the price of one. So six divided by six is one, therefore each bagel is worth $1, or the unit rate for each bagel is $1, okay? So if you don't quite understand that yet, I would recommend that you would go back and look at the lesson. But let's take a look at our examples for the day. Andy bought four chocolate bars for $2.50, or $2.50. How much did it cost her per chocolate bar? So what we have, the information that we have, is that it's four chocolate bars cost $2.50. So the deal is four bars for $2.50. So we have our rate. Now I need to figure out, well, what's the unit rate? What's the individual price for each bar? So I'm going to divide the price, so $2.50, divided by four. And that's going to give me what each bar is worth. So I'm going to use my calculator that I have with me. 250 divided by 4 is 625 thousandths. Now, we don't use thousands with money, so I'm just going to round. And I'm going to say that each bar costs approximately 63 cents. Now, because I'm on my computer, I'm not going to write my sentence, but if I was doing this for a question for homework or to submit to a teacher, I would write a sentence that says, each chocolate bar costs Andy approximately 63 cents. Okay, so we're tying it up with that nice little bow. Okay, so we took the four bars for 250. We looked at that, made a rate, and then I did 250 divided by four to give me the unit rate or the price of one chocolate bar. Let's take a look at our next example. Now, this rate is different because we're comparing distance to time. So Sarah and her mother traveled 342 kilometers in six hours. How many kilometers did they travel per hour? Show your work. So let's make our rate we have 342 kilometers in six hours. Now, I want to figure out how far she drove in one hour. So I've made my rate. Now we need to divide. So I'm going to divide 342 kilometers by six hours. Okay, because that's going to tell me the distance that she drove in six hours, so in each hour. So I'm going to get my calculator out with me. 342 divided by 6 is 57. So Sarah drove 57 kilometers per hour. Okay, so I would write my sentence saying that Sarah drove 57 kilometers per hour. So that gives us our unit rate. So how far she drove in one hour. 
In the lesson, I gave you this example of Tim Horton's second deal that's going on, or I guess one of the deals that they have, but it's kind of relatable because we see it. Sorry, my computer's going a little wonky. Let's take this up together. Let's look at the first one. So for two of these snackers, it's $3. So if I wanted to find the price of one, what would I do? Well, I would take the price and divide it by the quantity. So how many wraps are there for the deal? So we've got $3 divided by two. Okay, that's going to give me $1.50. So each of those wraps, the unit price for each wrap is $1.50. Now let's do these English muffins. I'm gonna do them down here. So the total price is $4 and you get two of the English muffins. So we're gonna divide the total price, take the total price and divide it by the quantity. Okay, $4 divided by two is $2. So each English muffin sandwich cost $2. Now let's take a look at this third one here, these uh, biscuit sandwiches. The total price is $5 for two of these sandwiches, so that's our rate. Now we're going to find the unit rate, so the price of one. Five dollars divided by two is 250. Okay, so the unit rate for each of those biscuits is $2.50 per sandwich. Okay, so for each of these we found the rate to start, and then we used the rate to help us find the unit rate or the price of the individual item. If you need any help, please send me an email and I can walk you through it. When you're ready, you can head on over to Knowledge Hook and complete the questions for the week. Have fun.